Howdy folks, it's Adriel the Hunting Gear Guy. Today I wanted to show you guys this Ruger American Rimfire. This is Ruger's kind of entry to uh, an inexpensive bolt action 22. It's got a couple of really interesting features, one being this rear stock. This uh, rear part actually comes right off and you can put a different part on. You can put one on that has a lower comb on it and you can change your length of pull as well. And then the other I think the other really interesting thing, I mean, it's got a couple of other features on there, but uh, is this, it runs uh, Ruger 1022 magazines. So there's a lot of people out there who really love their 1022. Maybe they want something in a bolt and this is a, a real attractive option for that. So let's take a closer look into this rifle. Now just starting from the stock here, this is uh, this is part of the magic on this rifle. You can see it's got quite a pronounced part line, and they they're just running with it. They're actually making it a design feature. You can't get away from having a line, so they just said, "Heck with it, just <laughs> just make it more pronounced." <laughs> That's one way to do it. Um, this sling uh, stud at the bottom here has to be removed in order to pull this stock off, but once it's removed then you can pull those stock out, the uh, rear of the stock here out and replace it with one with less comb or less length of pull or what have you. Going up towards the front here, uh, we've got a couple of really interesting things. One being this uh, trigger, and you can see it's one of these uh, levered triggers, so it's got that safety lever in there to uh, uh, act as a safety so that you can't actually pull a trigger just with this guy. It doesn't actually do anything, right? Uh, up towards the top here, our safety is F for fire and S for safe. Standard tank safety, love it. I love tank safeties. They're exactly where your hand needs to be. You can have your finger ready on the trigger and flip it to fire uh, really easily with your thumb. So I really love these uh, tank safeties. Now one thing that uh, you might notice just having it here, look how far that bolt sits out. Um, it is all the way in and it just sits really far away from the rifle. Uh, not a really like a super, I mean a positive of it, it's really easy to grab. Negative, it doesn't really sit in a rifle case very nicely. If you put it on its, its side, it uh, it kind of it gets in the way. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I really like or dislike this feature. Um, a, a really proud bolt like this also can make it easy to accidentally hit and disengage. So there's that. Um, Bolt turn-in on this is quite stiff, but uh, that's, again, that can be a good thing. Um, just uh, along the top here, we've got uh, dovetail cutouts that are kind of like cut into this uh, rail at the top here. Um, and it's also drilled and tapped for bases, and that's what we're using here is just uh, the weaver style bases. Again, it would be nice if they included those rather than you having to buy them separately. Now to remove the bolt, there's actually a little button here, so I'm just going to pull the bolt up and pull it back, and all you have to do then is push the rear of this button, and then it'll allow the bolt to go out. Nothing too fancy about this bolt, pretty standard in terms of uh, rim fires. I didn't notice that it's got this uh, spring steel uh, bit here that kind of wraps around the bolt, so that's a little bit different. I don't know if that's better or worse or cheaper or I don't know, but uh, it is different. And one of the coolest features on this rifle is the fact that it's got uh, shared magazines with the 1022, so you can, oh boy, this is really hard upside down, but <laughs> you can hit this release here and these rotary magazines just fit right in there. So this is very cool and it'll let you use those 25 rounders that, uh, that Ruger and Butler Creek also have for the Ruger. And uh, again, very cool and it lets you have a nice flush bottom on the bottom of your uh, rifle while still running 10 rounds inside this magazine. You know, a, a 10 round mag for most uh, uh, bolt actions will stick out a little bit, make it difficult to bottom carry, but this one you can bottom carry it very nicely and you've got a, a well not a smooth surface, but at least you don't have a, a magazine jabbing you in the hand. <clears throat> now, a little bit further up, and I wish I could show you this better, but I'm not going to remove this scope. Uh, we have this flip up or flip down uh, iron sight just on the rear here. Uh, it's quite far forward, uh, so you've got a, a little bit of a short sight radius with it, and uh, it's just a, a standard leaf sight, so there's not too, too much going on with it. I really like this front sight here. We've got just a standard fiber optic kind of a 
uh, rod in there, but it's really, it's well made and simple and there's not really anything much more to say about that. The barrel itself uses an interesting target crown where you can see here it's, uh, it's got just that protected bit there and it's, uh, I don't know, it's a crown. Now just to get a, a better look at the power bedding system used on here, we're just going to crack open the stock. And here you can see this is this is this V block here in their Ruger American rifle, the uh, centerfire one. It's got two of these, and in the rimfire, it's just got one. So it's just got a standard V here, and that matches up with this V on the bottom of the uh, action itself. So again, those are just some uh, real brief uh, options on why you might want to choose the the Ruger American rimfire. Um, a lot of really cool things in there. I like the barrel. Uh, I like this front sight that uh, that's fiber optic. I don't really like this rear sight. It's uh, it's just kind of I don't know. I mean, you can tell that a lot of people put scopes and red dots on these on rifles anyways these days. So uh, I'm not too concerned about iron sights. But it would have been nice to see like a, a nicer rear sight. Uh, great bolt system. I I really love these uh, bolt releases and and just nicer, faster ways to uh, to pull uh, bolts out. Ruger, you can tell that Ruger puts a lot of effort into making their rifles feature rich and uh, and, and trying new things. Uh, and one thing that they didn't try new that I really like, yes, just a tang safety. Oh man, so so nice and easy, nothing, nothing to mess around with. Great trigger, Love the magazine system. I mean, any kind of magazine system for a bolt action rifle that takes 10 round mags by default and has those big 25s that, uh, the, or 100 round drum mags if you really want a, a long time at the range. Uh, awesome. Um, you know, the uh, the sight bases were, uh, were fine in my opinion. Um, it would be nice if they included the sight bases, just because those can be sometimes hard to find, and they're they're an inexpensive price. They're they're just a couple of chunks of aluminum. Um, and again, this stock system at the back here is a, is a great idea, and it's going to make it so that um, people can make their rifle grow with them. So they can start with something that's a little bit smaller uh, when they're uh, littler, and as they grow up, they can add a, a a little bit longer of a stock on there, and it can stay with them and stay flexible to them. So. Very interesting rifle, and uh, I love I love Ruger's new new firearms that they're bringing out because they're really innovative. Thanks for watching.